So uh, what I've been thinking, uh, I, got, I got this feedback from last term when I was teaching the same course that a lot of people were not really comfortable with the labs and uh, they were struggling to go with the very log. So I've actually embedded a lot of examples where I'm actually doing coding in class, which I have not done it before. And also came up with this idea like every, I'll try and I'll try to be consistent with it. Every lecture at the end, uh, we will do some application, okay? Uh, and that should, is at the end of the next week, I'll probably gonna make an announcement of the final project. So you can think of every application that we could, could do, you can build upon it and come up with a final project, okay? Uh, so this is just a simple calculator. Uh, this, we are trying to make a simple calculator using combinational circuit blocks. I have two numbers, A and B, okay? So these are going to be my inputs. And each of them is one bit. Uh, and I also have uh, one input for operation, okay? And that is again also the uh, one in one bit. So if that bit is set to zero, it does addition. If that bit is set to one, it does subtraction. So this is what operation is doing here. So basically, how many inputs do I have here? I have three inputs, okay? So I got A, B, and operation. We got three inputs. So therefore, we have how many combinations here? We go from zero to seven, right? Two to the power three gets you eight. So the range is zero to seven. Correct? Okay, all right. So when the A is A0, B is zero, operation is zero, that means this is going to add. So what is going to be the sum here? Zero plus zero. Zero, zero. Why do I have two LEDs as an output? Correct, so we are doing performing operation on a one bit, two, two numbers which are both one bit. So maximum could be one plus one, two. And the binary code for two is one zero, so I need two LEDs, right? So you need to make sure. Uh, so here LED one uh, and LED zero are my outputs, okay? Zero minus zero is going to be zero zero. Zero uh, minus one and you are adding it, or actually zero one and you are adding it. So that gives you what? Zero plus one is what? One, what is the binary code for one? Zero, one, okay. Uh, here we are subtracting it because operation is one. So zero minus one, and I just went ahead and took the two is complement of it, and it's one, one, okay, all right. Uh, one plus zero is one, so binary code for one is zero, one. One minus zero is what? One minus zero is one, so binary code of one is zero, one. Uh, and one plus one and zero, which is add, so one plus one is going to be two, and the binary code for two is one zero. And similarly, this is one operation, so we are going to do subtraction. So one minus one is zero, so you get zero, zero, okay? Um, I already uh, went ahead and actually did this truth table using logism, and I came up with these expressions for uh, LED zero and uh, LED one here, okay? Uh, this right here. Okay, we are going to do the code here that you can actually implement on your basis three board. Uh, again, I got these commenting, so it, we can do it real quick. Uh, module space, uh, I'll just say calculator. Uh, your variable names A, B, uh, for operation, I'll just use OP, okay? Uh, and uh, I got LED, okay? So inputs are going to be A, comma, B, comma, operation, OP, semicolon. And the output is going to be, I can just declare an array here. So LED, okay? Uh, again, uh, you can just say data type register here. Again, not needed because it's a combinational circuit. Uh, and then we have the uh, data flow model. We're gonna use that because it's a lot more convenient. Uh, LED one, 
this is going to be what? This is the expression right here. So A bar ending with B, ending with, oh, for operation I'm using OP, okay. Plus sign is replaced by this vertical line. And then I have AB, A ending with B, ending with invert of operation OP, okay, semicolon. Uh, LED zero. The expression is right here. A bar, so in word of A, ending with B, um, or A ending with in word of B. Okay. Uh, notice it's actually making exclusive or, right? A bar B plus AB bar. So I can just say A hat B also. Okay. Uh, does the code looks okay here? Yes, no, yes, okay, all right. Uh, now, this was the data flow model, right? Uh, now, it's a lot more easier when we have just one bit data. Imagine you have a eight bit data or 16 bit data, like two 16 bit numbers or you are adding them. So you got 16 columns for A, 16 columns for B, and some number of outputs. So this will be a huge truth table and coming up with an expression for that would be so huge. There gotta be a better way of doing it, right? So we always use this behavior function, uh, behavior modeling in Verilog. So that's what the next example is actually. Actually, is the same example. We're just going to use this code, uh, use this example, but do it in a, a behavioral model. So. Uh, so the problem with the data flow model is that the expression from the truth table could be huge when you have many inputs. Uh, so they're saying, uh, say three zero A is, so you got four bits here, uh, and then B also four bits, so you're adding two four bit numbers. Uh, and then maybe I can do one here. So uh, what, it, what it could do, zero zero could do add, uh, 0, 1 could do subtract, uh, 1, 0 could do multiplication, uh, and then 1, 1 could do maybe division, okay? Um, and for this, you will need an 8 input truth table, so this has to change, so 4 bits here, 4 bits here, 8, and then 2 bits for operations, so we'll have 10 bits here, right? 10 input truth table, this is going to be huge, right? So we can instead use the behavioral model and use the case keyword to improve the readability of the description while optimizing the code. Okay, so how we do that? So you start with a module name, calculator, and again I got these A, uh, B, O, P, and LED. Okay, uh, the inputs are A, B, uh, and O, P. Okay, output uh, 1, uh, 0, LED. Okay, uh, then we use this case, uh, always at. What is going to be in this parenthesis? Do you guys remember this? The statement always at. What are those parameters that are your output is sensitive to? Well, if A changes, our output changes. So A. B changes, our output changes, right? B. Or if the operation changes from plus to minus or minus to plus, our output also changes, right? So we say OP here, okay? <clears throat> uh, alternatively, you can also write uh, always at steric. So say if you have many parameters, A, B, C, D, they go all the way to Z, uh, so you don't want to write all of them, right? You can just use this steric sign. And this would mean anything below this line is sensitive to your output. 
okay? And then we say begin, uh, there's no semicolon here, case, what is going to be here? Operation, right? So I'll say OP, okay? Uh, and then I'm going to say if bit is set to zero, if the operation bit is set to zero, then LED gets the value of A plus B. Notice this operator less than or equals to means whatever the answer is going to be when it adds A plus A uh, plus B is going to get stored in LED. Okay? All right? Uh, what, what would be the other line? Just follow this pattern and tell me what is the other next line is going to be. We got two kinds of operation in this example, right? Zero is addition, one is subtraction. We make the case for the one. If that operation bit is zero, one complement B is zero, that means LED should be A plus B. Make sense, right? What is going to be the next line here? If the operation bit is one, then LED gets the value of A minus B. This is going to perform an arithmetic operation, A minus B, A plus B, it's actually going to add A plus B. And whatever the number and binary is, it's going to get saved in LED, okay? Uh, we only have two operations, so we mentioned that. Uh, imagine if we were doing this example, where we had four bits for A, four bits for B, and then two bits for operation, how your uh, code would change here? Well, you will say uh, 3, 0, A, correct, uh, comma, B, correct, and you would also say input uh, operation 1, O, P, correct. Uh, how many LEDs you would need here? You're going to have to find out. So uh, 15 times 15 is what? 225. Uh, 8 bits will get you from 0 to 255. So you need 8 LEDs. So you can do uh, register, output register uh, 7, 0 LED. This will remain same. Everything will remain same. What's going to happen here? This will change to, let's say, uh, 2 bits. If those are set to 0, 0. 0, 0 does addition, right? So this would mean your LED gets A plus B. Okay? And you will have it for 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Uh, and you use uh, operator for multiplication, steric, uh, slash for division, and plus minus, you already know. With this, I'm going to finish today's lecture, uh, and then I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay?